While the world waits the outcome of the visit to Iran by inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency, Israel broods over Tehran's recent test firing of missiles, which officials said could reach Jerusalem. Hello and welcome to Stratfor. I'm Colin Chapman. It's the worst kept secret that Israel's military is preparing for a strike on Iran's nuclear facilities, should talks fail. But this would lead to Iranian retaliation in the Strait of Hormuz, the crucial shipping lane in the Persian Gulf. An Iranian attack there would force American action. Fifteen supertankers a day pass through that narrow strip of water between the United Arab Emirates and Iran. They carry nearly all Persian Gulf oil, and that's 40% of the world's seaborne oil. Pretty much any attempt by Iran to close a strait or interdict commercial maritime traffic almost necessitates an American military response. Though Iran has a broad spectrum of military options in the strait, there are significant complications both for Iran effectively employing these options and for the U.S. in containing and counteracting them. Part of the problem is that, especially with mine warfare, the principal effect is often psychological. Fear regarding the security of maritime commerce in the Strait of Hormuz can quickly impact the global oil market. And especially given the current economic climate around the world, that's a serious threat in and of itself. While up to two of Iran's three Russian-built Kilo-class submarines could probably be scrambled on short notice, the cramped and shallow waters of the strait would make this operation challenging. Another of Iran's options would be to use its fast-attack missile boats. These are said to be equipped with Chinese-built C-802 anti-ship missiles, based on the U.S. Harpoon and French Exocet designs. Used in a surprise strike, they could score some early hits, but they're dependent on ports, easy targets for the U.S. Navy and Air Force. Iran also has much smaller speedboats employed by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. These vessels were used last year to harass U.S. warships in the area. In U.S. war games, the speedboats are manned by suicide bombers, posing a significant threat, though the amount of ordnance they'd carry would be limited. Iran also has an arsenal of land-based anti-ship missiles, both on the mainland and on the islands of Kashmi, Siri and Abu Musa, and they could score, but their success depends on effective search and fire control radar, which would be vulnerable to swift counter-attack. Overall, Stratfor's military assessment shows the Iranians have enough firepower to cause serious damage. But once hostilities got underway, the Americans would use their superior technological power to neutralize both the Iranian Navy and Air Force. But of course, there remains another effective way to halt or slow the oil and gas trade, laying mines in the Strait of Hormuz. Mm -hmm.